Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and today we're going to be talking about GSX Tech Edu and if you guys don't know what it is guys this is an online kind of uh, education system that's based out of China. It specializes through a K through 12 kind of system here and the reason I'm talking about GSX Tech Edu today is because they are actually facing an internal probe kind of similar to Luckin Coffee and that's why the stock is actually down 12% today and what does this mean? So basically when People start doing a probe or an internal probe or, you know, a short seller, you know, has a report about a company. It basically means that they personally feel that the company is fabricating sales to a certain extent or it's fabricating something which then leads to an internal probe. Now, as of now, we don't know if GSX Tech Edu actually did, did anything. That's the point of a probe. It's to figure out whether the company is falsifying anything and stuff like that. So, with that being said, guys, what do I think of the situation? I don't know what to really say about the situation if I were to say uh, facing an internal probe, it's not good, but it's also not bad either because the thing is, if you know the probe finds out that the GSX Tech Edu is not doing anything wrong, then that means that the company is actually profitable and that means the company is actually doing well. But if it finds out that they are fabricating sales to a certain extent, then that's going to be basically the same thing that happened to Luck and Coffee. It's not going to look good for the company at all and it's not going to, you know, and it's going to start putting more heat on Chinese stocks. Ever since the Luckin Coffee incident, guys, you know, a lot of people have seen Chinese stocks in a different light. A lot of people think that the companies are up to no good in general. They think that a lot of the companies are just fabricating sales and they also think that, you know, they're just a bunch of fraudulent crooks, you know. We don't want to. We don't want to think that way, you know. And the Chinese are—they're trying to prove that their companies aren't like that. Obviously, guys, you do get a bad seed here and there. If you take a look at American companies, guys, Wells Fargo, Waste Management, General Electric. I could, there's a whole list of American companies that have committed fraud before. It is not the end of the world, and it does happen. And obviously, it's not good because you lose investors' trust, and it takes a long time for the stock to actually recover. So, with that being said. I'm curious to see how the GSX Tech Edu probe actually turns out and I'm actually curious to see as well to see if they're actually fabricating anything. Me personally, it's a school system so generally they do pretty well and it's based online which during the pandemic, obviously that's a huge plus because people, a lot of people are not doing in class sessions anymore they're doing everything online so that has kind of led to the stocks rally in general looking at the five-year chart guys i mean this thing ipo june 6th of 2019 and it ipo at 12 dollars. so i mean it, it's had a huge climb and like i said with the current pandemic situation online and technology driven stuff has basically they're basically up tenfold and they're all thriving very well so who knows what the outcome of the the probe is going to be for gsx tech edu basically someone is stating that they're fabricating their sales someone is basically stating that the, the company itself is not profitable and the company itself is basically no good but i will keep you guys updated on the situation let me know down in the comment section below guys do you think gsx tech edu is actually fabricating anything do you think that they're a shady company or do you think the company has had recent success due to the whole pandemic situation thank you guys for clicking on the video i really appreciate it have a good day